Microwave Transmission Network Engineering can be approached from the global perspective using the recent results achieved in computing and mathematical optimization. In his presentation, he will show us how AI can be used to synthesize and optimize microwave transmission networks. Please welcome on stage Elemir Kovács from C-Network. So, uh, it is a distinct pleasure to be here at uh, Shimonyi conference today. My name is Elemir Kovac, and I am working as a microwave network engineer. Probably everybody among you knows what are the uh, microwave networks. Uh, so it is just a connection between uh, numerous uh, bees station uh, in at mobile network. So I am working uh, with uh, real world problems. So it means uh, I am often squeezed within uh, time frames, within schedules during my job to solve. Uh, the existing problems, uh, I need a very efficient and robust uh, solution. So either you have one or develop one, so you have no other choice. And uh, that is what happened. So uh, um, and uh, why I am here today. So. Uh, I give you an insight how a real world engineering problems in general could be handled by optimization and uh, how could them are formulated uh, as a, a multi objective optimization problem and how could these problems are solved by, uh, opt by, by evolutionary uh, computing. Uh, so uh, uh, it is uh, 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 it is. It is. It is. I, s I spoke about uh, uh, multi-objective opt optimization problems because in in the real world you often not so lucky just to have uh, one uh, objective uh, for 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 your problem. So it is. It is you. You have to use several one and uh, have to find a solution. Uh, often, uh, when you have a numerous, often contradiction objectives during your problem, and and uh, have to make some trade-off between them. Uh, why is this uh, approach is so important? So why optimization itself is so important? Uh, because uh, during optimization, you could uh, more deeply understand your problem and give on and and uh, make a very deep insight into it. Uh, it is uh, uh, give as, as and as, as as a result of this more deep insight, you can develop. Uh, uh, a pattern of handling problems. So you are innovating. You are uh, innovating. Inno so it innovating. It means um, being uh, make an innovation via optimization. And uh, 
uh, it is it is very very I important uh, during your uh, practice uh, we call our solution gaia because we like this name uh, drawing a, a parallel between uh, greek mythology and uh, uh, artificial intelligence it is just uh, a coincidence. At the beginning, we were not so really so uh, clever. So it was the preamble. Let me start the, the presentation itself. Okay. I have spoken about the optimization, so we just simply skip the first slide. Uh, so it, I am turning back now to uh, engineering practice itself. So uh, ordinarily, the planning of microwave network, it, it is just uh, confined uh, with uh, human machine interaction. So you planning practically a links. So and you have for this uh, very fancy tools for your practice, but uh, networks expect and decision uh, which are uh, higher level decision, it rely just onto, onto your expertise. It's uh, nothing more. Uh, um, what um, this problem, as I have mentioned, could be formulated as optimization problem. Uh, what are the building blocks? How could, how could we formulate this problem uh, by that way? So uh, it is four, four blocks for this. So. Uh, the, the most basic, it is just uh, graph methods, because uh, the network itself, we could describe it with uh, graph. Uh, we use uh, several numerical optimization uh, proce procedure, so to, to allocate frequencies for, for individual links or upper lower positions. Uh, and. Uh, and higher, in, in the higher level, there is um, uh, evolutionary optimization, which is just uh, give a, a, a frame for the whole process. And uh, naturally, it is a forward, force building block. It, it is the already existing uh, traditional network planning. So we have to put or integrate everything together and uh, by that way we could we could have a, 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 a formulation for for this uh, optimization problem so uh, as i have mentioned this problem it is multi objective multi objective because uh, you you have to, to decide between uh, between um, uh, competing parameters, and it is often you couldn't just uh, rely on to on, on to one because because decision cannot be made simply based on that. So if if you have, for example, cost and uh, some other network quality and and the cost itself are equal for, for the network part. You cannot decide which network part it is better for your uh, project. Uh, 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 we here working with uh, so-called Pareto optimum, optimums and work with numerous optimums. So. Uh, Pareto optimums, it is optimum when uh, you cannot improve one dedicated uh, parameter, not to violate others or, or not to deteriorate the other, other ones. So uh, the decision itself after, after the uh, engineering process, it is uh, rely every time onto onto the expert and uh, and it has been it is it is doing uh, just intuitively it nothing more so we cannot totally exclude human factor factor from the or process uh, 
have uh, this uh, optimization problems formulation sounds in in reality so uh, for us uh, we can we can formulate it as as, as ensuring uh, uh, or traffic uh, transport between individual uh, network uh, nodes till till uh, hubs um, in uh, in protected or unprotected manner uh, naturally so that we could uh, fulfill the uh, requirements which are the overall requirements for or, or communication network and of course in cost effective way often it there are a few condiments to this um, uh, requirements because uh, there are always some local specific aspect within these networks as you can see in the uh, picture below uh, so the, uh, here you can see the uh, mean networks uh, element. It, it is a t three, three elements and ring elements. It is just the two basic elements. All kind of networks are being to mid from these elements. Okay. Uh, there are two different tasks during your practice. It is if you have already existing network, it is your your task. It is optimization. If you have uh, nothing practically, it your synthesize. In, in in that case, you have a synthesis uh, uh, optimization. It much more complex because you have to track each of your connection during your process so it is it is extremely complicated so it is even from the beginning of the whole process uh, so uh, the role of uh, existing network so uh, as i as i have mentioned you have have a track uh, uh, all links at your uh, existing network and uh, and uh, decide uh, where so and and during during the your process um, uh, have to decide properly how to how to handle uh, them uh, here it uh, in uh, these pictures you can see um, two network parts. It is one before and one after optimization. Uh, you can simply check uh, the, the pets for, for individual nodes and, and, uh, and uh, evaluate them, how they are connected to, to these networks. In this picture, we can see the optimization process itself. It is very simple and very straightforward process. Uh, probably everybody know genetic algorithms. It is it is it is probably the most reliable and most uh, robust process for such type of uh, evolutionary algorithms. Uh, the mean uh, uh, the the mean. Uh, uh, points it are shown in in this uh, chart, and you are starting your process with an initial network, and uh, during optimization you make several intervention to this network, uh, small uh, or large scale intervention. Uh, and after that, evaluating your uh, result, you have you have just uh, several dozen or several hundred exemplars of these networks. Um, the most 
fits entities you, you are going to select and start your uh, optimization process once again. It is just uh, up to you how many times you are running this process. It is uh, practically, practically, uh, I don't use uh, during my job uh, some any other type of criteria, just, just, just to do and, and run it several times and make decision. So uh, your decision, I should mention that your decision are, could be made very exact because uh, um, the result obviously could be evaluated in an uh, ordinary way. So, so it is not, a, not a such uh, a type of black, ba black uh, bargain from, from, from somebody. Also, it is, uh, should be noted that uh, there is a seamless integration between uh, uh, engineering task and uh, economical calculation. So uh, the economical aspect are integrated under this whole process. And also, uh, it is very beneficial to do, do such uh, optimization uh, if, if the time uh, is matter to you and, and if, 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 if uh, you would like to shrink your cost. So practically it is all. I, I um, give you a insight into this whole process. So it, it was um, great fun to me to, to be here and, and explain you a short introduction. I was very impressed by the students everywhere and outside also. Uh, be because I heard many new things even for me. And uh, so I I am very fascinating to have an important contribution to, to my uh, material and I'm waiting for your, your questions. Uh, how are you did the questions? Thank you so much for the presentation. Thank you. The first question is, what kind of future do you see for this technology? It is absolutely, uh, uh, for this, t it, 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 it is already the future and inevitable uh, during future because uh, you, can, you can do your job better in shorter framework. It is, as I have mentioned, it is important if you would like to develop innovative ideas during your work and uh, uh, also, also it gives you a very, very good uh, result. And it is, it is, I must notice that it is an universal approach. So you never ever should forget about this uh, uh, approach during, during your life. I, I recommend to everybody. Uh, uh, because, because there are many, 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 te or many, many subjects or many directions which are just overshadowing it. For example, uh, uh, I don't know, it is, it is a neural network, for, for example, it is very popular today, but it is also a branch of artificial intelligence and it is very important for, and especially very important for engineering processes. This is so exciting. Uh, the next question is, where can I or we learn more about this technology? Where? So it is, as I have mentioned, or I more probably I didn't mention, so it is a very unique technology. It was developed from scratch. We have any ideas to borrow from somebody or from, from any direction. It is absolutely a pioneering technology. Pioneering, absolutely. Hungarian pioneering technology. Okay. The next question is, what would you suggest for further studies about this topic? What I suggest for further study? Yes. Uh, for, for somebody who would like to um, implement it or, 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 or it is or, or 
Yes, for somebody who would like to implement. Uh, so what I suggest, uh, to learn it. So because, because <laughs> to learn it, it I use it. Um, imagine that um, uh, when you have to do something uh, in real life, you, you have to, you have to, uh, you have many objectives during your, your work. And um, the proper decision, it is, you, you make always a compromise between, between your decision. And often you don't understand wholly your problem. You just have a result, what, what, is, what is emerging from this problem if you don't solve it or, or you don't really have all, no, all, all kind, all aspect uh, of this problem. And in that case, it is just uh, uh, irreplaceable. So it is, you have any other choice, just such type of approach. Okay. 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 <laughs> the next question is, could the optimization algorithm embed Bayesian optimization? What is it? Bayesian? Bayesian, yes. Uh, it is Bayesian, it is a different, it is a different. So it is, a, you, you speak about robotic. Uh, naturally, of course, can, everything it can, but it is a bit different. Profit. Bayesian, opti Bayesian optimization, it is, or Bayesian processes, it is, it is in, in robotics, so in, in, in movement of these robots or, um, it could, it, it could, <laughs> this could everything handle, or uh, it could be, could be included. But uh, just a separating part, or just uh, uh, interaction, or in, in, in parallel with these processes, I could imagine this, this type of approach. Just a minute, I lost my Oh, it is very, <laughs> very <laughs> exciting to have so, so many <laughs> questions, because it, it is obviously somebody just listened to me. <laughs> yes, and uh, this is the last question. Okay. Uh, how can this technology affect the everyday life of people? It is obviously it is it is it is <laughs> just improve because because you have a better um, smoother process, better products, and uh, better results. So during during your works, maybe so I can I can so formulate maybe maybe the response for this question. Thank okay. you so much for the okay. just just one minute okay, okay. one moment so. Um, SPEA and NSGA. This is the two words, two abbreviation. It is should just remember for somebody who would like to dedicate it yourself to this topic. Okay, it is okay. it is shown on the on the slides, so it mm -hmm. is you can. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the presentation <laughs> and the answers as well. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. It was a big pleasure to be here, and I wish. Or everything uh, uh, for 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 next generation of engineers. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay.